This is the tensor. In the old days, a variety of time-based effects were achieved by manipulating the playback speed and direction of tape loops on reel-to-reel -reel tape machines. The concept of the tensor was to expand on those techniques, separating certain elements of time such as speed, pitch, duration, direction, and order, and offering more flexibility and control over each of them in a much more compact device. The tensor is always listening, which lets you precisely manipulate your playback either live or in the form of these simulated tape loops. Blend lets us control the effect level from full dry to full wet. The footswitch on the left is for recording our loops. The right one is our bypass switch, which lets us toggle the effect on and off or cancel an active loop and return to live playback. The toggle switches above these let us decide between momentary or latching behavior for each footswitch. The two center toggle switches give us different looping options and have no effect when the pedal is live, so we can ignore those for now and come back to them later. Right now our knobs are set for normal playback, with time and pitch at noon and speed at 100. We'll start with random all the way off and blend at full wet so we can clearly hear what's happening to our signal as we start exploring. Our speed knob can be used to slow down, stop, or rewind our live input. In its fully clockwise position, we have full speed normal playback. Turning the knob counterclockwise will slow it down reaching a full stop in the middle and continuing smoothly into a full speed reverse. Notice that time and pitch are linked here, as they would be if we were recording our input onto a physical tape loop. At half speed, our note will last twice as long and be one octave lower. The digital parallel here of tape is known as the buffer. The buffer reacts to live input as the tensor analyzes your playing and automatically adjusts the size and timing of the reversed segments. The time knob slows down our input in a different way. It will affect the duration of our note without affecting the pitch. This is similar to what you hear when you adjust the playback speed on this YouTube video, for example. You hear a glitchy texture as the audio information is spread apart over a greater distance. In the case of the video, which has a fixed beginning and end point, you can also compress time and play it faster, again, without affecting pitch. Later, when we use the hold switch to record a loop, we can use our time knob in the same way to stretch or compress the duration of that loop up to four times in either direction. If we're just running live input as we are now, compression's unavailable because the pedal can't predict what will come next in real time. The pitch control is similar to the forward half of the speed knob in that time and pitch are linked, but instead of a smooth sweep, you can choose specific harmonic intervals across a four octave range. Setting our blend at noon lets us create different harmonies between our wet and dry signals. We can also use the speed and pitch knobs together for some subtle chorus and detuning effects. So far we've kept our randomization at zero to keep things simple, but turning up the random knob will introduce intelligent randomization, which is based on how the other controls are set. This can include pitch jumps, directional changes, speed changes, and time warping to various degrees, allowing us to inject the occasional glitch or completely disorganize these elements. When the tensor was initially released, the maximum loop length was 4.8 seconds. Through some later hardware changes and firmware updates, Stereo capability was added, and the loop length in mono was extended to a maximum of 9.4 seconds. There are three hold modes that let us create different kinds of loops. We can select a mode using the left center toggle switch. The modes are Overdub, Record, and Next. Overdub mode lets us record an initial loop, and then each time we hit record, we can add a new layer on top for a sound on sound effect. The first loop is processed in normal time and sets the loop length. Then playback and each subsequent layer we add is processed according to our knob settings. In the middle we have record mode, 
where each time we record a loop, the old loop is replaced by the new one. If we set our hold switch to momentary, this mode can be used to create instant stutters and controlled glitching. Next mode uses two simultaneous buffers. We can set our buffer length with the hold switch, recording into one in real time while the previous one plays back according to our knob settings, and the LED will blink red to indicate the transition between the two buffers. It's important to remember here that the tensor is always listening. In this mode, once we set our buffer length, we'll only hear output if we start to play. We can use this mode like tap tempo, or we can think of it as less of a fixed loop and more like playing in a two-part round. Adjusting the controls will create new textures as the audio gets stretched, compressed, or shifted across each of the two buffers during playback. In all of these modes, the switch on the right lets us change our loop direction. You can think of this as a shortcut to flipping the speed knob from forward to reverse, but the switch also gives us a third option, which is to alternate back and forth. One thing to note is this switch actually interacts with the speed knob, meaning that if the speed is set to reverse, setting our switch to the reverse position will reverse the reverse and return us to forward playback of our loop. The tensor's control port can be configured for expression pedals, TRS MIDI in, our remote switch, and CV input, and the USB port gives us access to MIDI, the web editor, and firmware updates. The web editor was created to give you access to advanced configuration features. You can easily customize your control port settings, manage your MIDI devices, access additional bypass modes, and save up to 31 presets. For more information, check out the links in the description or get the full details in the user manual at redpandalab.com. Thanks for watching.